Alrighty guys, welcome back. Um, earlier we were discussing um, Pete Carroll and his uh, behind the scenes push to try and get the Chargers head coach job. And now we're going to be diving into WWE Raw um, and its move to Netflix. Um, WWE Raw will be moving to Netflix in 2025 on a massive five billion dollar deal which is actually more money than they are making right now um a heck of a lot more money yeah actually. a lot more money yeah <laughs> um tko group holdings the merged company with ufc and wd wwe announced yesterday that wwe's monday night raw um, will be moving to Netflix starting in 2025 in a deal reportedly worth $5 billion over 10 years. Um, the new deal shifts Raw off television for the first time since it was launched 31 years ago. Um, because of this, there is some worry about UFC because UFC... Um, is currently streamed on ESPN and ESPN Plus, and ESPN Plus has a deal with Disney. Um, I have the number somewhere of where, how much Disney, or maybe not. Anyway, Disney obviously it's is a paying, lot. paying a buttload of money, um, but it will come down to, I guess, next year, whether or not Disney is going to up their deal with UFC to keep them on ESPN Plus, or I guess UFC will move to Netflix. I don't know. Okay, this is this one surprised me. It should not have surprised me, but it did. Um, I think it surprised me twofold. First off, this is the way media is going. Everyone is going to streaming. Uh, the the world of cable television and network television is dying. And but the one thing that cable and network television has had a chokehold on is live sports and and news. That's their strong suit. People are not tuning in to watch the brand new program on this station or that station any longer. Uh, it's all about going to your your Paramount Plus, your Disney, uh, and so on. So I never ever even thought about the WWE or anything else. But when you think about this year, there was a lot of people very upset about that Chargers, uh, the, I mean, not the Chargers, but um, the Kansas City game that was played on uh, Paramount Plus. And I'm going to tell you this. There was a lot of people upset with that game being on Paramount Plus. But when you look at the numbers, uh, the subscrip subscription base uh, went through the roof. They ended up with 20 something million people that tuned in to a streaming service to watch a live game. And I think Netflix is looking at that. They're looking at the deal uh, that the NFL has and they're making that move. When you look at, there's been rumblings that ESPN is even thinking about within the next four to five years getting out of the network television game, getting out of the cable television game and going strictly with the streaming. That's the reason why ESPN Plus is out there. That's the reason why the Pat McAfee's are now on ESPN because they have a strong YouTube following. They, they're they building that streaming service. So when you look at the WWE, which has has a stranglehold on that young demographic. Decade after decade, year after year, they always get that young demographic. I, as a young, young kid, grew up watching WWE wrestling. Back then it was a WWF wrestling. I no longer watch it. I'll check it out every once in a while, but 
it always has that audience. Now, the thing which you brought up is the Vince McMahon no longer makes the main decision. TKO owns the WWE and the UFC. It does give concern that if the WWE, which is a staple on network television, is now going to Netflix, Netflix, which is synonymous with watching movies and and television shows it's not like if it's if it said hulu who has been making their you know their their slogan is hulu has live sports no one thinks about hey live sports on you know on um uh where did uh, i can't i can't the streaming service that is, it went to that they the signed to deal with i just went brain dead on uh netflix on the name no on netflix couldn't get it couldn't get ne- netflix out but save my life but you don't think about netflix and say hey i want to go watch the game but it is showing that netflix which is which is the 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 biggest baddest guy on on the block when it comes to streaming now they're getting if they're getting into WWE, then they're gonna make a play for that UFC. It makes it makes sense, and the UFC has made a lot of money for ESPN and Disney. So I could totally see them getting both of them and making a play for both of them. What do you think? Well, I'm curious to see how Netflix is gonna be treating live shows if they're going to do live shows, because. I have beef with Netflix. Ooh, um, beef! I I, I want to hear this. Uh, for one, the family household stuff not fair. I share a Netflix account with my parents, and I no longer can watch Netflix on that account because I'm not a part of the same household. Anyway, moving on. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. This this is this is part of this conversation. Mm-hmm. This is definitely a part of the conversation that there's a lot of people that are upset about that. For Netflix, though, they're looking at they are losing billions. Mm -hmm. When you look at, hey, I share my my account with my mom and my parents and there's other people. It's like, listen, I share it with my mom, my brother, my sister, my aunt, my uncle, my cousin, Uh, you know, they're cracking down on that because these corporations are saying the bottom line and they have, they're trying to make a run at taking over, you know, network television. And they're looking at you as hurting their bottom line. They want to break you guys, break people like you and your family Mm -hmm. up where he's like, you need a subscription for your daughter. You need a subscription for your mom and dad and your niece and nephew, they got to get their own subscription because they're going to be making making plays for the WWEs, the UFC, and the NFL right. coming up. Well, so. I remember, I am a big fan of Love is Blind on Netflix. I don't know if you've okay. seen it or not. Have um, not. And it was, la- I think it was last season. One of, one of the past seasons, they tried to do a live reunion show on Netflix. And some people could access the live show and then others which was me could not the live show I oh, think, really? was premiering at seven o'clock that day and i stayed up till midnight to see if the streaming would work for me and netflix mm-hmm. was like announcing like sorry about the issues we're like trying to work it through whatever whatever and then netflix just ended up some people were able to watch it live but netflix just ha- ended up having to record the entire reunion and then put it on Netflix for the people who couldn't access the live stream. So I'm wondering if this is going to be an issue again with bringing in WWE and potentially UFC as well. Now, see what you just brought up makes me think uh, that Netflix is a genius. And here's the reason why I think what you just said reigns as the smartest move possible when you're looking at you're building out your new streaming service so you can stream live events and there's problems with the live event 
here's the one group that it doesn't matter. You look at the numbers when Monday Night Raw is on, they're going to watch Monday Night Raw. If it if the streaming doesn't work and they have to watch the pre-recorded Monday Night Raw, they're going to watch it. So if they have kinks and they have to play a, a rebroadcast of it, it will still do numbers. I watch uh, sometimes old Rumble Royals from 10, 15 years ago, and you look at the numbers and hundreds of thousands of people are going and watching those old episodes. Wrestling fans will still go and watch the, watch the pre-recorded uh, broadcast. Hence, if they're homing in their skills by making sure that the streaming works for WWE, and once they have that set, it makes it so much easier to transition over to the UFC and NFL and college football and basketball and baseball. And so I think it's kind of smart that they've gone, that they may go with the WWE first as one that is not so forgiving. Imagine you a big Georgia fan. It's Georgia, Alabama for the SEC championship and you're trying to watch it on Netflix and it doesn't work. People would lose their mind. But if it's a Monday night raw and the streaming doesn't work, but they put up uh, in a half an hour, an hour later, the the episode of Monday Night Raw, people will still watch it, but you can't do that with live. And yes, WWE is live sports, but it's sports entertainment. We're talking actual live sports. The, you, you can't have these issues. So them working it out with, um, with you know, wrestling, I think it's smart. Uh, also, part of that, I don't know if you saw this, but there was another news where they announced with The Rock. The Rock is now going to be a part of the, going to be on the board of directors uh, with the with the whole company, and they he now owns his name. The Rock has never owned his name. He's he owns Dwayne Johnson, but he did not. The WWE owned The Rock now. Dwayne, The Rock Johnson, The Rock is wholly owned by him now. And he's going to be on the board of directors, which then makes it opens it, opens it up because that means they're saying, hey, The Rock is going to be definitely doing WrestleMania now, which is going to do huge numbers, which is going to kick off the start of this whole Netflix deal. So... Well, I guess I'm interested to see if UFC is going to come on Netflix as well and how they're going to deal with that. Because I feel like UFC games would be the same as like watching a football game and if the stream oh, no, it's the, work, would be the same. People yes. would get very upset. So I don't know if UFC is going to move to Netflix as well or if Netflix is going to start off with WWE to try and figure out the kinks with that and then bring in UFC or if UFC is just going to strictly stay with ESPN. I'm very curious. I, I, I'm going to tell you this. This move with Netflix, with the WWE, has just guaranteed that that UFC contract is going to be massive because if ESPN wants to keep the UFC, they're not going to be able to lowball uh, to get it. They're going to know that they're going to have to beat the Netflix and the Hulus of the world to keep the live fights on their organization. And they're making good, they're making really good money off of ESPN plus because of the UFC and they're cleaning up on the pay-per-view dollars as well. The, the uh, ESPN does not want to lose the UFC. So I guess it just all depends if um, ESPN or D Disney owns ESPN now, right? Yes, or is and it the just way ESPN I ESPN Plus. No, no, no. Disney owns uh, ESPN. I also believe I'm almost. I'm not 100% positive on this, but I'm almost positive. Disney also owns Fox Sports as well, but they're two I separate entities. I think so. 
Yes, I, be, of, I believe that's... Yeah, one of the other. I, and they, I know for a fact ESPN is owned by Disney, but I also think either e Disney partially owns Fox Sports. Uh, ESPN Fox Sports has nothing to do with each other, but the parent company is Disney and something else for Fox Sports, I thought. Well, it'll be interesting to see if Disney is going to raise their price up along with Netflix to try and keep you... FC or if UFC can even like separate from WWE I don't know if they can if they'll allow separation for streaming to be well, on different platforms you know right now they are separate uh right. you know one's on network television other ones with ESPN they've been keeping them separate they, I mean because they just came together uh the last year mm -hmm. so they've always been separate organizations and TKO Holdings purchased both of them are a majority owner for both uh and so they're going to always go out to bid as separate entities but to put them all it's very neat a very nice neat package to put them all under one umbrella and the netflix umbrella could be that platform well i guess if you are a wwe fan um make sure to get a netflix subscription in 2025 <laughs> so that you can watch Monday Night Raw, um, but we're going to take a quick break, and then when we come back, we're going to do our oddities of the day. <laughs> 